What's going on guys? John over here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to look at data types in Dart. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at data types in Dart. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership to all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at data types in Dart. And data types are pretty simple in Dart. There's not a whole lot of them, and they're pretty straightforward, and we're going to go through them in this video. So basically, we're looking at numbers, strings, booleans, lists, maps, and dynamics. Now, numbers, we have integers and doubles, and we'll talk about those in a second. Strings, it's pretty straightforward text, you know. Booleans is always true and false. And then we have lists and maps, and lists are arrays. You know, in Python, they're called lists. In every other programming language, they're called arrays. They're called lists in Dart. And maps are basically dictionaries in Python or hashes in Ruby. They're key value pairs. So we'll probably talk about lists and maps in another video because they're a little bit more complicated. Finally, we have dynamic. If we haven't explicitly stated what the data type is, Dart will imply that it's dynamic, meaning, I don't know, sort of like a catch-all, right? So let's go through here. There's not a whole lot to know about these things, but there's a few things. So we'll go ahead and look at them one at a time in this video. So I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a list of the playlist with all the other Dart videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So we've got our basic starter code that we've always got here. I'm just calling this file dt.dart, short for data types, I guess. And so let's just start out with a string. So we start out by calling the string keyword, and then we give this variable a name. I'm gonna call it first name. And we set it equal to, you know, whatever. We've already looked at this before. So pretty simple there. So I could just print and then let's go string just to keep track of these. And then we can call first name inside of this quotation marks using the dollar sign symbol like that. So if we save this, head over to our terminal. I'm in my C Dart stuff directory and we can run Dart DT dot Dart and it pastes out string John, right? Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So now let's talk about numbers. Numbers, you have two options. You have integers, which are whole numbers, five, 27, 108. And you have doubles, which are decimals, 1995, right? And so to use integers, we use the int keyword. And I'm just gonna call this my num. We can set it equal to anything we want. So I'm just gonna grab this guy, paste it in again. Here, let's go integer and change this to my num. So, you know, obviously if we save this and run it, we know what we're gonna get integer 41, right? Pretty straightforward. Doubles are, like I said, decimal point. We use the double keyword. And then, I don't know, other num. And we can set this equal to 1995 or something, right? A decimal number. So again, we can print double and then go other num. Let's change this to num. There we go. Save this, run it. Pretty simple. Double 1995, right? That's your double. Next, we have booleans. And to use a boolean, we call the bool keyword, right? B-O-O-L, short for booleans. And then, I don't know, let's just call this my bool. And we can set this equal to anything we want. So notice this is lowercase. We can also do true, also lowercase. I'm going to switch it back to false because, you know, false is more fun. And we can print out boolean and then my bool. And if we save this and run it, of course, it's going to print out false, right? Pretty simple. Finally, we have dynamic. And like I said, dynamic is a little weird. It's if you haven't decided what the thing is, then you can use dynamic. You know, there are situations where you might want to use this. I don't find it all that useful, but you know, there are times when you might need to use it. You just use the dynamic keyword. And then, I don't know, let's call this full name, something like that, Set it equal to John Elder. And again, we can print this guy to the screen, dynamic, and then full name. So of course, if we run this, you know, we're gonna get John Elder. So those are your main data types that you're gonna be working with. Like I said, we're gonna talk about lists and maps in their own separate videos because they're a lot more complicated than these basic data types. And you know, it's very straightforward. You have strings, you have integers, you have doubles, booleans, and dynamic. Like I said, you're probably not going to use dynamic all that often, but you'll definitely use booleans. You'll definitely use doubles, ints, and strings all day, every day if you're using Dart. And it's just that simple to use them. 
So that's all for this video. If you like, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So it's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from Codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.